From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's <coughs> premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Happy Tuesday morning to you. Hope you're having a good start to your day. Maybe you're enjoying that cup of coffee. You know, I've had my cup. I feel pretty good. Sometimes people don't drink coffee. They maybe some water or just something maybe with a little bit of caffeine in there. I know some people like to drink Red Bull in the morning. What do you like to drink in the morning? That's kind of interesting. All right, take a look at what's going on out there. This is looking out at the valley. We've got, of course, uh, uh, looking out at Redding. Clearly see those overcast skies that we're seeing. Not much in the way of rain right now, at least for the valley. The rain is mainly confined off to the west right now along the coast. Uh, but, of course, that will start to progress eastward. And everyone will see another chance for showers today. Now, I don't think the system coming through today will be quite as strong as the one yesterday. So, with that said, you know who you are. You know who saw the rain and who didn't see the rain. And that'll probably be another repeat today. Although there still is a chance, I think everyone could see some measurable rainfall just just not a lot for many of us. But it will be drier and it will be warmer as we go into tomorrow and Thursday with by the weekend, maybe a chance for showers. And just kind of a note, and this is something I know that might be in the back of some of your minds with the eclipse going on on Saturday. Will there be too much cloud cover for us to see the eclipse. And you know what, there's a chance that that may happen. And we'll get into that here just a little bit later when we look at future casts. But I wanna show you the radar here from this morning, early this morning, and you can see most of the activity kind of coming to the northwest parts of the state here. Siskiyou County, Del Norte, Northern Humboldt County. That's where the bulk of it is early this morning. But again, this will all be pushing eastward. How much rain have we seen? Well, as expected, most of the rain yesterday and was it on the coast and in the inland areas. You head eastward, you just didn't see as much rainfall. Some of the more impressive spots, yeah, out in Klamath, a little over an inch there, about a half an inch or more for Crescent City and Eureka. Look at Ruth, actually, in southern Humboldt, excuse me, southern Trinity County, almost a half an inch there, but not as much as you head northward into Hayfork and Weaverville. Now, there were some spots in Reading that did see a little bit more than a hundredth of an inch of rainfall, but you get the idea, just not much there, and maybe trace amounts for parts of the valley, and even trace amounts for parts of the eastern mountains in Modoc County as well, but overall, <laughs> just not a lot of rainfall out of this system. Now you can see the swirling area of low pressure with storm system number two. There's that counterclockwise spin. The colder air is getting drawn into that storm as well. So we've got some cold and unstable air that will be moving in later tonight and that will certainly have an impact for some of us. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in future casts. Let's take you through the morning hours and you can see we're not looking at widespread rainfall. Now, what we're looking at here is maybe a chance for some scattered showers by around noon through the afternoon in the valley and really even in the eastern mountains in Modoc County and not to mention pretty much everywhere, right? And there are going to be some spots that could see some of the moderate to heavy rainfall, much like what we saw yesterday, right? And then we go into this afternoon, 5 p.m., you see how it's breaking apart? Chances start to diminish again. But what you'll notice here as we go into the overnight hours, here's 10 o'clock tonight, we're seeing some of that cold and unstable air moving. Now that's gonna do a couple of things. We can still see a chance for more showers and thunderstorms for some of the higher elevations, Trinity County, Del Norte, Humboldt, all of Siskiyou, Modoc County, and also notice some of the blue and pink on the map. I'm thinking somewhere around 9,000 feet, give or take, is what we're looking at with some of those uh, snowflakes that we will see. So it's that colder air moving in, but still a little early for us to really see some of those lower snow levels. And then, of course, uh, maybe a chance for a scattered sprinkle or light shower, even in the eastern mountains late tonight. Now, even midnight tonight, there could be some leftover showers and instability. I mean, even around Alturas, there's the Warner Mountains, of course. You're starting to see some of the snow there. Trinity Alps, you're seeing some of that snow. Looks like around Mount Eddie, as a matter of fact, that's about 9,000 feet. And of course, what we're seeing here are the dry conditions for the valley. Now, it dries out entirely for everyone by tomorrow morning, for the most part, maybe a few lingering sprinkles. Wednesday afternoon is dry. Thursday is looking dry as well. And looking at the rainfall estimates, 
these are not exact amounts that we're going to see, but it's illustrating the same situation. Off to the coast, northwest, that's where the bulk of the rain is. You see less and less as you start heading eastward. So looking at future cast, let's take you through Friday. Thursday, as I mentioned, will be dry. Friday, for the most part, looks dry as well, but by Friday night to Saturday, that's when the rain may begin to kick in, especially for the coast and in the mountains around Trinity, excuse me, Siskiyou, and not to mention Modoc County, and of course, Trinity County as well. But I stopped it at 9 a.m. on Saturday to just illustrate what it's looking like at around the time of the eclipse. It doesn't look very promising, does it? Because not only are we seeing the clouds here, but we're seeing that rain, which really helps to reinforce the fact that it will probably be overcast. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Not much we can do about it at this point. If you have plans, you know, maybe not cancel. You know, for me, I've got plans, uh, but I'm not going to cancel them because it's nice to get away sometimes. Now, what we're seeing here is we go into Sunday, a chance for some showers, maybe even to Monday as well. But overall, not a lot of rainfall coming with these systems coming starting this weekend and lasting into early next week. Now, we look at the wave heights. Yeah, they're pretty high. This is what it looks like here for today. And uh, as we take you into your Wednesday, right, we're still seeing some fairly high wave heights. And in fact, there is a small crash advisor here for today through late tonight with those winds from the south at 10 to 20 knots, waves from the west at 9 feet at 12 seconds, and from the south at 2 feet at 13 seconds. All right, so let's take a look at our forecast for today. And again, much like yesterday, I've got chances for rain for everyone. Does that mean everyone's going to see rain? Absolutely not. I don't think that's going to be the case here. But I think some of us could be looking at some uh, light showers, maybe a sprinkle or two. The bulk of the rain, as you can clearly see where most of the clouds are, that's where most of the rain is going to be here for today. And still fairly cool, only reaching the upper 60s to low 70s in the valley. And for the mountains, you're talking temperatures 50s and 60s. Now, we've got the chance for showers for Mount Shasta City. It dries for Wednesday, it stays dry, that is, for Wednesday through Friday, even into Saturday. There's Sunday, Monday, maybe a chance for some showers here. Alturas, same story, not to mention uh, Susanville, a chance for showers. Dry through the rest of the week and through the weekend this is what it's looking like for now. Okay, and then as we go into Monday of next week, maybe a chance for showers. All right, here's your seven day outlook for the valley. You see after today's chances for showers, it's starting to warm up a little bit, but we should for the most part dodge the 80 degree mark. So looks like the peak will be on Thursday, close to 80. Temperatures drop again, but low to mid 70s for the weekend. And then there you can see as we go into Monday, there of course is that chance for showers. Let's take a look at your seven day outlook for the coast. Now, it gets a little bit more interesting here because, of course, you've got the rain today. It's dry for Wednesday, Thursday. By Friday night into the weekend, a chance for showers. This is nothing to be concerned about as far as a lot of rain, but it will bring us some light showers here, possibly. Better chance for rain, possibly, by early next week around Monday. And then that's going to be the case for the inland areas and not to mention Trinity County.